Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oscar Mikey and today we're playing some more Stallcraft. I hope you had a good 2022 and I hope that your 2023 is even better. I'm looking forward to making a lot more content for the channel in 2023, maybe exploring some new stuff, doing some more collabs with other content creators, and it should be a really good time. So yeah, today we're playing some more Stallcraft. So we made it through the tutorial basically. We woke up in this village after we got shot by the guy. I called it by the way. That guy shot us and he took our artifact, that bastard. We're just a free stalker, we're a loner. Um, we had the option to spawn in as a bandit too, but I chose the the loners. I kind of want to want to be a good guy. I like being a good guy in video games. I don't know about you guys, but um, we were told to go speak with the leader. His name's At Atman or Atman. We actually have a little quest item on the right side there. Dugout stash. Find the stash. So we do have to do something. Oh, maybe that. Yeah, that's it over there. But we also need. I think we need to talk to this guy here. Is this Atman? Atman. Hello. Oh no, that's my inventory. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe we do need to go over there first. Let's go. Uh, there's other players wandering around this village. It's pretty funny. So yeah, this is like very Minecraft. You can tell just by the aesthetic and the blocks and everything. It's very, very Minecraft. There's lots of NPCs here. Petya. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Life gets in the way, I know. Let's go over this way. Let's just take care of this quest. I guess... Um, we're kind of moving out outside the village now. But yeah, let's venture out and see if we can find this thing. I wonder what kinds of breaks we're going to run into. What kind of mutated creatures, bandits we're going to run into on our way. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Are those, are those supposed to be trees? Oh, bit of a stutter there. Oh, oh, it's radioactive here. Nope. Nope. Let me out. Let me out. Nope, I don't want... Oh, shit. Is that radiation? I don't want to go near that. Oh, man. Yeah, my radiation meter on the bottom right. Holy, it was, like, maxing out. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna go there. I just kind of want to explore. This all looks kind of cool. Well, there's a little camp here. Hello. Uh... Yeah, so I, st I have to get used to that. My inventory is on the right side and the container I'm looting is on the left. And I'm not really sure how loot works in this game, if everything stays persistent for everyone or if it's just like first come, first serve to the loot or whatever, because that's another player there. I'm not here alone. Hmm. A swamp stone. Five of them. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh. Bandage? I want to take all of them. Nope. There we go. Nice. <laughs> all right, we're gaming, guys. We found some. We found some loot. Some little crap, but gotta start small. Gotta start somewhere, right? You can loot these barrels. You can look inside these things. Ooh, vodka! Hell yeah. Let's see what's at the top of this tower. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another player up here already, actually. Just taking in the view, you know? Any loot? Nope, nothing. It is a view, though. What a view. There's something over there now. Dog den. Okay. Eh, how do I get down? There we go. Let's keep going towards the dugout. We got kind of distracted there for a second. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Looks like you stumbled across a gravitational anomaly. There's, they're one of the most dangerous since it's damn hard to spot them. I think if you think there's an anomaly nearby, okay. Telling us to use bolts, basically. Right button to throw it. Oh! Okay, you can see the smoke, like, swirling around a little bit there. Yeah. Apparently there's one right here. But I can't see it. Okay. So I see. I think I see a little bit of. Is that blood or is that like are those rocks or something? 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Apparently, I was standing right next to one. Oh shit. Oh, oh, he's just gonna get him. Watch out. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, dude. Why did you walk back into it? <laughs> oh no. Poor guy. Okay, looks like we can get in right here. Oh yeah, I didn't see it there before. No! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh. Okay. I kind of got sucked in by the other one there. Is this a path right here? Can I sneak by? Just right here? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, I made it. I made it in. Look at all these players. All these guys are trying to do this quest too. That's so funny. Yes, I made it in. Follow me, losers. Come on, this way. Whoa. Okay. Um, what are we doing now? So it looks like we got more anomalies here. Can't go that way. I don't think. Okay, yeah, I, I see it. But how do I... How do I get past that? Do I just have to activate it and then jump past it? <gasps> Ugh, okay, that worked. Seemed to work. <gasps> A large backpack. Nope. It's nothing. You can loot pretty much... You can loot a ton of stuff. There's barrels and cabinets and stuff. Anything else in here? Nope. This looks like somebody's uh, living quarters. Somebody's made a home. Come on, there's nothing here. I want a little bit of loot. Looks like the stash Linden mentioned. Linden, that's his name. Same in the stash. At first, it doesn't seem like there's anything... It doesn't seem like there's anything valuable here. Some old clothing and spoiled food, but then... Among all the garbage, you find a small silver ring. Well, it's something, at least. Well, quest emission received, quest emission complete. Artifact received. Come back to base quickly. Oh, shit. All right, let's go. Oh, fast. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess you can just activate them and then, like, jump past them really quickly. Yeah, we got that little ring. Sweet. Okay. Let's go back to base. Hopefully we don't get... Oh! What was that? Hopefully we don't get eaten alive by this... By these anomalies here. Oh boy. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Okay. Yeah, it's sitting right there. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can pick that up. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh boy. They're really tough to see in this game, actually. The ones in Stalker are not bad. They're fairly easy to see, but these ones are like difficult. Can't really go inside the trees very easily. Oh no. I'll have to like go through the tree. Can I go through the tree? Oh. Settle down. Oh, please no bully. Please no bully. Please don't hurt me. I'm an innocent child. Oh my god, there's something growling. I got it. Holy. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the anomaly saved me from that thing. What the heck? That's gross. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh man. Did you guys hear that scream? This is scary. <laughs> it's cute, but it's terrifying. Artifacts are great, sure, but before we start learning about those, I should tell you how all this works. Come here. Okay, Come Linden. Is that you over there? Yeah. Eh. 
Linden. Hello. Go on, show off your find. Ooh, nice one. To find out everything you need to know. To find out everything you need to know about the artifact, take it to a local scientist. I can sense that it'll take some time to find him on base. No way. Every major base has a plan that you can use to orient yourself. It's got all the important locations marked scientists, mechanic, merchants, and one more thing. What? In the zone, word of your actions spread quick. Word of your actions spreads pretty quick. If you help locals, you'll quickly, you'll quickly earn a good reputation among them. This has consequences. Merchants will, merchants will give you discounts. Fences will be more willing to buy your junk. And the head of the base might offer you personal storage. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. All right. Valuable find complete and my reputation. Quest my reputation received. So we just got a new quest. Great. I'll go see if they're saying nice things about me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Base plan. So I guess that's the map. Admin's HQ schematic. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm in this building right here, I think. There's the gear merchant. Double click to open the barter. Oh, barter tree? What? There's nothing there. Fence. Mechanic. Supplies. Oh, there was one more there. What's this? Researcher. I guess that's the scientist that I want. So he's right around the corner, basically. Yeah, right here. Ah, he sure looks sciencey. I'm something of a scientist myself. Yeah. <laughs> the stranger lifts his gaze to the ceiling and mutters something under his breath. Interesting. Hello, am I interrupting? They... Yes. These living waves. Like people, they wander. What do you want, young lad? I'm new. I'm going around the base introducing myself to everyone. Well, I'm Dodger. If anyone asks you, who can contemplate such grandiose and enormous thoughts while being so far at the southern border of the zone? Tell them Dodger can. Just don't stand there. Come in, have a seat. We can chat if you like. I'll assess an artifact for you at the same time. What do you say? Linden sent me. I found an artifact in a dugout and... Great, that's wonderful news. Us zone scientists like nothing better than a chance to work with artifacts. You do realize the value of your find, right? Uh, not really. Relatively? Of course, while the artifact is unidentified, it's hard for you to judge its value. Any scientist can help you with this difficult task. When you know what artifact you're dealing, dealing with, you can sell it. Or use it for your own good. Use it for my own good, eh? Artifacts possess a number of incredible properties. Stalkers place them in special containers and carry them. Experienced stalkers create special sets of artifacts. They choose the best combinations of artifacts that grant bonuses useful in specific situations. Listen to me, listen to me, Yammeron. Let's see what you brought for me. Go on. Yes. So. I brought the electric crystal. Research. And we got this other one too, but this is the quest item, I think. You've identified the artifact. I doubt you managed to dig up anything else of value, so I suggest you fence and sell. You identified the artifact. I doubt you managed to dig up anything valuable, so I just suggest you find fence and sell it. Stone blood. Bleeding resistance. Oh man, that's actually pretty good. It cost me money. Or wait, is that how much he's going to give me? No, that's the cost to research it, I see. How many, how much money do I, I don't have any money. I have zero monies. Okay, good to know. And I still have this artifact. That's really good. Charge vision. Oh, oh my God, you can do some crazy stuff. I don't even know. So, okay, now we go to the fence, right? Kochka? See the fence? Hey, dude. <laughs> so many players. Nope, I went the wrong way. So can I sell the artifacts to the fence? Oh. Welcome to our shelter. I'm Kochka. I buy 
I buy any stuff that you find on your travels. Okay, I guess this guy's the fence. Sounds good. You bet. The economy is a complex thing. People like me, we support that very economy. We keep the cogs spinning, you know. We make the, we make the wheels turn and all that jazz. <laughs> anyway, buddy, shall we get down to business? I actually have an artifact here. Yes. Would you like it? Holy, he'll give me 1400 for it. Sell. Yes. Very nice. I sell the swamp stone too. Sell. Silver ring. I kind of want to keep the stone blood. That sounds pretty badass, actually. Enjoy, buddy. Enjoy that crystal. Okay, now we gotta go to Petya. Hello. Hi there, who are you, a customer? Hi, maybe. Depends what services you offer. Call me Petya, or... Petruka? The service I offer is the most popular one there is. I sell guns. Ooh, you and me are going to be good friends. You know about pieces, then. That's useful. Pieces are for puzzles. These are firearms. Guns. G-U-N-S. Deadly weapons. Oh, I'm just blabbering now. You buying anything or what? Oh. I am, don't worry. By the way, Lyndon mentioned that I that you owe him. If you give me a little something, we count it towards the debt. Sure thing. I actually have something set aside for you. Not good not good for much more than shooting rodents, but it'll suit you. This gun's been gathering dust in, the, in storage for a while. So have a mechanic take a look at it before you go, just in case. And if you want to buy something that really gets the job done, you can look at my inventory. I'm sure you'll find a gun that speaks to you. Hmm. Let's take a look at what you got. All right. Looks like there's like upgrade trees. It's kind of interesting. Okay. So it looks like when you level up certain... When you level up the base, you get access to different guns. Is that how it works? Some machine guns. You can get a Keter. You can get a PP-19. MP-5. Oh, yeah. Yeah, base is not high enough. Base level. Yeah, you can get all kinds of stuff. You can get armor from this guy, too. Backpacks. Attachments, muzzles, and silencers. Different mags. So, yeah, this is the guy. This is the gear guy. Good to know. Yeah, I think we're pretty good for now. He just gave us all that gear. Um, oh, wrong button. E. There we go. Old cash den. Yeah, this thing looks pretty rusty. So we're going to have to go... This guy's the mechanic? Yeah. Mechanic. Get your gun fixed at the mechanic. Let's go. Hey, Flint. You see a large, mid large middle-aged man. His face looks calm and relaxed. Hiya. You feeling better, bro? Come here. Harsh anomaly you got yourself into. I'm Flint. If your gear needs fixing, come see me. I'm a pro. Cool. Keep it in mind. Don't worry. I won't let you... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. This is too much. Check my gear. I would like you to repair this, please. Restore? Repair? Nice. Oh, it was at zero durability before. Nice. Mods? Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Cool, so it should be full durability now. Alright, I've got your SMG working. Don't even think about taking a gun in that condition into the zone. One misfire and you're a goner. I see. Modification. So now I have to mod it? Open the inventory... Click right mouse button on your weapon and select modification. Modification. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it still looks pretty crappy. Barrel. Slap that thing on. Uh, 
And that's it. He just gave us a muzzle brake, old flash suppressor. So it brings down the recoil and tightens up the spread. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go back and talk with Lyndon. I'll equip this. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, I can see you've settled in nicely. Congrats. Consider your newbie fighter lessons complete. Seems so. I'll give you more valuable advice. If you need some special items, you can try the auctioneer. Not in the swamps, though. You have to go to the cordon. You can just... You can put stuff you don't want up for auction, too, or buy other stalker's items. Just remember that folks don't like buying secondhand stuff at auction. Got it. Кстати, если очень хочется, можешь оформить... Закинул тебе особый подгон на... Глянь прямо сейчас. Оно лишь... А, he gave me some stuff. Quest, personal storage received. So now I have personal storage here. Open the inventory and press personal storage. You can use it at any base. Ooh. Personal storage. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'll just put some of this stuff away then. Fish preserves. Yeah. Keep that on me. Cool. Oh, we actually... Homemade NVGs. We have some NVGs on us right now. <laughs> cool. All right. So now... Rise and shine. Talk with Atman. Okay. Oh, he's right below us. Nice. Let's go talk with the man himself. Oh, uh, went the wrong way. There we go. Did I hurt myself? I got a little hurt doing making that jump. Dumb. Hey! Well, well, you must be the drowning victim that we, that we barely resuscitated. Take it, you're in charge? Yes, that's me. Uh, I wanted to ask you how I can arrange a meeting with Shaman. Off to see Shaman already. You, are you blessed? Yes. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have told him that. Fuck. <laughs> I, don't have anything I don't have anything against you, but I suggest you stay on your toes. I've heard of some people. Seems like they want to burn all the blessed at, at the stake. So you be careful. We wouldn't want you to get saved for no reason, eh? So what about meeting Shaman? Shaman doesn't just see anyone? You owe us a debt. We did save your skin after all. Oh boy, so he's going to ask me to do a job. I do want to ask you for one personal favor of urgent importance, shall we say. My old friend Kalgan recently returned from the north of the zone. He hasn't come back alone. He brought a friend, Art. This guy Art has been acting very strangely since he got here. What do you mean? He's standoffish, refused to drink with us. He's always muttering under his breath. Hmm. Last night, Art fled into the swamp. Something got in his head, I guess. They're both missing. Oh, no. An old friend. Whatever you say, Adman, whatever you say. Okay, I gotta go find these guys. They, um... So they lost their minds and they ran into the swamp, it looks like. An old friend. I gotta go find them. So let's go find these guys. Oh. Lash hideout. That sounds gross. It's turning into daytime now. Hello. Oh no. We're in. MVG's on. <gasps> okay. Oh, huh? What happened? My god, he's turning red. Are you- Oh, are you crazy? Oh! Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, Kalgan, no! Art? Why would you do such a thing? Art's corpse. <gasps> oh no. More nine mil. No, Art. Kalgan. There are at least two dozen bullets lodged in the stalker's chest. Someone was pretty generous with the lead here. Oh, no. Judging from the entries 
In the dead man's PDA, this must be Calgan. Someone clearly took him out. Maybe it was crazy, his crazy friend Art. Seems like it. Quest. Awful news. Okay, we gotta go back to uh, Atman, I guess. Give him the bad news. We don't have a map. We don't have a connection to our map for some reason. Doesn't seem like there's much to loot in here. A couple of containers, but that's it. Yeah, nothing really going on in here. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, what are these guys doing? Are they shooting each other? <gasps> oh no. Kill it! Kill it! Go! Shoot it up! Yeah, yeah, get it, get it! Come on, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, go! Fight him up! <laughs> oh, you got it. Good job, good job. He's using his knife. He's hardcore. Yeah, you did it, guys. Good job. Let's go over here. Flesh hideout. That sounds so disgusting. I guess I don't need my night vision on. <laughs> Clear out the area. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh. Well, there's one more. Come on. Dang. Grip. Ooh. Mold. Broken claws. And hairball. That's cr that's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, I guess that was like a mini quest. Hey, guys. I did it. I cleared it out for you. Don't worry. Batman's HQ. So it shows you a progress bar of your, uh, your leveling up of the base. That's kind of nice. I'm so sorry. Your friend is gone. Kalgan is dead. I found R2, but it seems to have he seems to have totally lost his mind. He attacked me. And spits on the ground bitterly. Damn it, I knew it. I knew that asshole was nothing but trouble. At least R won't hurt anybody else. I killed him. Thanks, Doctor. You bring me bitter news, but thanks all the same. Here's a small reward for you. Now, can I expect to meet with Shaman? Otman squints. Don't get me wrong, Stalker. I admire your enthusiasm, but you still haven't done much. Plus, a new problem showed up on my doorstep while you were out there in the swamps. You're going to go deal with it. Oh, really? I am? We had a top-notch guide here, best of the best. His name was Scuba. Some people called him Scooper as a joke since he couldn't scoop you up out of any danger. Since he could scoop you up out of any danger. Anyway, he was a great guy and reliable guide. Then what happened? He was killed. Oh, no. Scuba was attacked from behind, it seems. Took a slug in the back of the head. Then they cut his ears off to boot. Jeez. Not much to go on. Find out who sent Scuba to sleep with the fishes, and I'll punish them to the full extent of the law. Where do I start? I'm off to play Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Then we gotta find the guys who... killed the guide. Oh, Pete. I just wanted to chat. What's in your mind? I heard a guy was killed recently. One of the best. Do you know anything about it? He and I weren't best pals, but that son of a bitch was the best at his job. That's a fact. Mm. There is a lot of dialogue in this game. Okay, he doesn't know. I don't want to be, like, reading expo exposition for you guys, like, for an hour. <laughs> you just kind of want to get on with it. Cock... Cox... Coxcomb? Coxcomb? What do you want, slacker? Guess your mother never taught you any manners, huh? <laughs> what do you do? I cut the noses off idiots who stick them in the wrong places. Wow. Jeez, just wanted to ask you something. Ask away, then get lost. Man, this, seem, this guy seems uh, doesn't seem very likable, huh? Do you know anything about the guide? No, I don't. Don't know anything. Ooh, it literally makes him jump. Hmm, pretty sus. Why are you so tense? 
Да потому что ты меня заколебал. Because you're pissing me off with your stupid questions. So you haven't seen him? Нет, не видел. No, didn't see him. Didn't talk to him. Didn't have anything to do with him. Interrogation over. Then get lost. Hmm. This guy. This guy did it. <laughs> Just a hunch. Just a hunch. I still gotta talk to one or two more people. Gotta talk to that guy. Is that another quest available? Who are you? Tank man. Plum. I'm not buying or selling anything. I don't need anything from you. Not welcoming. Just wanted to chat. Oh, so you're telling me you came into the zone? You came to the zone to chat? Go on, ask what you want. Heard a really good guy was murdered. You mean Scuba? Yep. Our guide got on someone's bad side. What do you mean? Well, he's always... He was always kind of eccentric, you know, but recently he ran up in the middle of the night, woke me up, and started yammering about a sphere. He's shaking me and screaming right in my face, The sphere! The sphere! I had to smack him across the face to get him to calm down. Did he have any enemies? Um... Maybe? I don't know. Why is there a purple... Exclamation point over your head. You see a bored-looking stalker. He looks more, um... Sh like, surprised. Stunned, if anything. <laughs> hey, stalker. Must be new, huh? Yep. Great, my name is Tankman. For future reference, you looking for work? I am. You need a courier. Actually, no, not right now. I'm working on something else right now. I'll come back to you later, bud. Okay, now we go back to Atman, I guess. Tell him what's going on. It's getting dark. Oh, look at the pretty stars. Kind of like the skybox. It's nice. Got the moon over there. Did you find anything out? Did any of our suspects catch your interest? Oh, there's one person we might want to take a closer look at. Who's that? Uh, oh, I have to pick one. Oh, no, I, had to, I have to pick one, eh? It's funny. Coxcomb was really tense and he lied about spending time with, with uh, Scuba. Plum says that Coxcomb was always hanging around the... Yeah, I think it's this guy. Yeah, now that sounds like a working theory. If you've caught uh, Coxcomb in a lie, that means he must have something to hide. What are we going to do now? Interrogate him? Search Coxcomb's hut. Okay, I'm going to see what this guy's hiding. What is, what is he up to? What kind of dirty secrets is he holding on to? What is he keeping from me? Hmm. You see an old crate. It's slightly rotten in places. Ooh. The only thing you find inside are a few bent nails, a rusty food tin. The only thing this proves is that Coxcomb isn't good at hammering nails. Okay. There's a suspicious smell coming from this old cupboard. Jesus. He's just hiding rotten meat all over the place? The mystery smell is solved pretty quickly. You open the cupboard to find a half-rotten dead rat on one of the shelves. Besides that, and a thick layer of cobwebs covering the inside, there's nothing here. Oh. Table is covered in all kinds of junk that you don't think of any interest is of any interest to you. Carefully examine the piles of junk that Coxcomb has spread across the table, but nothing catches your eye. Mm. Still pretty sus. You see a bulky cupboard. Something unintelligible is scratched on the doors. A swear word, you think? The doors of the cupboard creak open. Inside are a few shelves. Some of them are covered with old yellowing magazines, while others hold s several tin cans. Magazines. Grab a few random magazines, flip through them. Small key falls out of one of them. This is getting interesting. Decide to pocket the key. Hmm. Keys to a crate. Oh. Cans prove to be quite heavy. When you glance inside, you'll see you'll see they're full of bolts. Guess Coxcomb was stocking up off for a rainy day. There's nothing else inside these cans. So he's thinking about going out, adventuring into the wasteland, dealing with some anomalies. This heavy crate doesn't look particularly noteworthy. Inside, you find a small stash of ammo. Well, Coxcomb probably won't notice if you pocket a few things from his arsenal. <laughs> okay. Whoa, expanding ammo. Holy smokes. Hollow points, I guess? Nice. Stock up and leave. You see a giant crate. It's locked. But you can try and open it with a key you found. Ooh. Ah. Inside you find several old rags and a small bundle. You unwrap it and find a severed ear. 
my god. I knew it! I knew it! This is the proof that you needed. Holy smokes. Torn off ear. Yikes. Okay. Oh, what the hell are you doing in here, slacker? Couldn't find a decent job, so you decided to steal from your own, huh? I got lost. I'm leaving. Okay, I'm hurrying off. <laughs> the game is telling me to hurry off to Atman. I bet you he's going to run away now. I'm going to go back to get him and he's going to be gone. I delayed Coxcomb as long as I could. Did you find anything? I think this might interest you. Coxcomb was hiding a, a severed ear. So it was him! That damn scum! Shooting one of his own in the back, then cutting off his ear while I don't need any more proof. I won't let a lowlife trader get away with this. Go and detain him right away. Bring him here by force if necessary. Whatever you say, sir. Yeah, I bet he's gonna be gone. No, he's here! Oh, wait, that's not him. Pete. Why is everyone in such a hurry? I wanted to ask Coxcomb to play a round of cards, but he pushed me aside and legged it like his tail was on fire. Oh, yeah, okay, he ran. Or that way, he ran literally five minutes ago? If you get your ass in gear, you can catch him up. You can catch right up to him. Okay, where did he go? This way? In hot pursuit. Okay, I'm gonna need my night vision for this. Oh, no. He's running towards the flesh hideout. He's pretty close to it. Oh my god. Oh jeez. No! Radioactive water. No. No, no, no! Oh my god, it's so radioactive. Get me out! Oh my god, it's so radioactive! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Outpost commander? What did you want to talk to? One of our men ran by here recently. He was probably running away from the base. Is there any problems there? Yeah, we had a runner come through, sprinting like his life depended on it. Oh, his life does depend on, depend on it, I'm sh I assure you. He went way off that way. Thanks, Chief. Damn, okay, these guys are going ham on something. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta cross this water. This is gonna hurt. Oh, I meant to jump. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Little dog. Get shit on. Oh. That was actually hurt quite a bit. Dog's tail. Oh! There's a lot of them. Yeah, kill him, kill him. Ooh. Thanks, buddy. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Dog's den. Oh, we cleared it out. Nice. Skin. Take the skin. Very nice. Uh, oh, we're here. He's here. There you are, you bastard. No, that's not him. You see a stalker standing there as though waiting for you. Hey, man, did you see anyone run by? Oh, you must be looking for Coxcomb. Yeah, are you a friend of his? Oh, no, he smirks. Oh, come on, I prefer to hang around people who have at least a few working brain cells. Coxcomb doesn't. He ran over that way for some reason. I told him, Coxcomb. It's teeming with mutants that, that way, but he didn't listen. Not the smartest tool in the shed, eh? Thanks for the info. Okay, I got a little scared there for a second. I thought he was going to, uh, thought it was like going to be a boss battle or something. <laughs> okay, let's go. Man, this guy really legged it. He's, he went far, very fast. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked, Coxcomb. 
on his body. His throat's been slit. Doesn't look like mutants did this. Oh boy. Let's go back and tell the boss. I like that the night vision is like color. Makes it a little nicer. What took you so long? What do you mean? He ran so far. He must have realized we were on him and we were onto him and tried to run. Damn it, so he screwed up. Were you able to catch him? I found him, but it seems like someone else delivered a sentence to him before we could. He's dead. You can run from earthly punishment, but the Lord is always watching us. Okay. This is all kind of weird. There was a strange guy hanging around nearby, and we figured out... And we never figured out why Coxcomb killed the guide. Sighs heavily. The zone has never been a simple place, but in recent times, dark clouds seem to have gathered over us. A storm is coming, my friend. A storm! Here's your well-earned payment. Thanks, Admin. I'm much more interested in a meeting with Shaman, though. Ah, yes. You wanted to ask me about the Blessed. Where do I find him? Meeting with Shaman. Okay. I guess I can go talk to the guy now. Thank you. Oh, sweet. Look at my rep. Freaking skyrocketed. We got some other NPCs we can get quests from now. Meeting with Shaman. Great. We can go see that guy. We'll go talk to him in the next episode. Maybe we'll do a couple of side quests too, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for this one, guys. This game's pretty cool. There's some, like, light... Hello. There's some, like, light multiplayer aspect to it. Not sure if we can do, like, PvP or anything, but it's pretty cool. Very stalkery. Very post-apocalypse. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like on it, guys, and consider subscribing if you're new, if you want to see more content like this. Going to be playing some more of this game in the future, for sure. Anyways, thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video.